What's up guys? Let's continue with section number two from chapter one. We are seeing the introduction to chemical engineering and the reactors we use in reactor engineering and we're going to apply the molar balances into or on those reactors. So the first thing I want to let you know is that there is a molar balance methodology for the reactors. Uh, we're going to derive a molar balance equation and we're going to apply it on the batch reactor, on the continuous tier tank reactor, on the plug flow reactor, and in the packed bed reactor. We're also going to see how we can change those flow terms in terms of concentration because as you can see normally there is a in literature or in experiments you will see a lot of concentrations rather than flows Flow is essentially mole per time and concentration is mole per volume. So there is a relationship between these two guys. And at the end we see a small summary of the molar balances. So I got this from the book. If you want to refer it, it's the figure P1. These are the pillars of chemical reaction engineering. They call it CREG. So the first thing you need to know is this pillar here, the molar balances. We're going to watch this right now. Then you got to check this, which I think is chapter two, no, chapter three. Then chapter three also stoichiometry. Then you need to apply some energy balances to do the non uh, non isothermical reactions. Then you see a little bit diffusion and contacting. These are actually not that we're not going to see that much in this course. But if you have this, you can understand all this. You can see, you can design of chemical reactors, you can have design PFR, CSTR, batch, semi-batch, pack beds. Then you can also analyze rate of data for, I don't know, lab reactors. You can model real reactors, we're going to see a little bit of that. You can also understand dispersion, segregation, all that. Also non-isothermical operation, I told you before, you have this here, energy balance, and you have this small balance, and you know the rate, you can do it. Then mass transfer operations, how they actually change the concentrations. We need this. And multiple reactions is about more into stoichiometry. So I love this book because they give you this sequence for studying the textbook. So you have the book. Please check out your chapters. Chapter 1 is small balance. We're seeing that right now. Then comes conversion and sizing. It's essentially applying this knowledge into exercises then we see rate of law and stoichiometry here then go to isothermical design so as you can see you need to go one two and three and once you got those three you can go directly to chapter four which is the design of the reactors now once you understand how to design isothermal or isothermal reactors you will be able to collect an analysis or analyze and data then also multiple reactions, we're not going to see that much this. Uh, steady state heat effects, yes of course, non-isothermical reactions, multiple reactions also here. Then 9 on steady state effect of heat, maybe a little bit, but you can say we're not going to watch that much. Then chapter 10, catalyst and catalytic reactors, just a little bit, external diffusion effect, also just an introduction or overview. This is also just an overview. Then we go to residence time distribution. Yeah, a little bit. And non-ideal reactors also an overview. But the core is this section. It's like a spinal uh, column or the central part of the course is this. Now just to end this video, we, I'd like you to check out what's a chemical reaction. Uh, it takes place when a detectable number of molecules of one or more species lost their identity and they are assumed to form new structures or configuration of atoms. So A goes to B. So as you remember, mass is not created nor destroyed, so the molecules just change. It's just an arrangement of structures. So you got this structure like this and they change to this. Well, the, you can see there are four atoms in different structures. And before continuing, 
uh, we're going to see this rate of reaction which is this symbol right here we've seen it before but uh, I want to do a special video on this so let me finish this video and in the next video we're going to talk about the rate of reaction What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, plays, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.